question number 171. The structure of protein that gives information about the sequence of amino acids is called and the options are primary structure, secondary structure, tertiary structure, quaternary structure. And the correct answer to this question is option number one. Primary structure is the structure of protein that gives about the sequence of amino acid and it determines the specificity of that protein too. Whereas rest of the options, secondary, tertiary and quaternary structure are incorrect and the correct answer is option number one. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 172. In a nucleic acid, the bond between the phosphate and hydroxyl group of sugar is and the options are peptide bond, ester bond, glycosidic bond, hydrogen bond. And the correct answer to this question is option number two, ester bond. In nucleic acids, one ester bond is present on each side of phosphate group. Therefore, it is called phosphodiester bond. Peptide bond is incorrect because peptide bond links amino acids in a polypeptide. Glycosidic bond is incorrect. Glycosidic bond links individual monosaccharides in a polysaccharide. Hydrogen bond is incorrect. Hydrogen bond stabilizes the tertiary structure of proteins. So, the correct answer to this question is option number two. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 173. Read the following statements. Statement A says, living state is a non-equilibrium steady state to be able to perform work is a correct statement. Statement B, biomolecules are constantly being changed into other biomolecules, which indicates their turnover is also a correct statement. Choose the correct option. Option number one, only statement A is correct is incorrect. Only statement B is correct is incorrect option. Both A and B are incorrect is an incorrect option. Both A and B are correct is a correct answer to our question. So, the correct answer is option number four. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 174. Read the following with respect to Watson and Crick model of B DNA. The very first statement says the pitch of the helix is 34 angstrom and this is a correct statement with respect to BDNA. Second statement is at each step of ascent the strand turns 60 degree and this is an incorrect statement because at each step of ascent the strand turns 36 degrees. The next statement is the rise per base pair is, is 3.4 nanometer and this is incorrect because the rise per base pair is 3.4 angstrom or 0.34 nanometers. The last statement is there are two hydrogen bonds between A and T is a correct statement. How many of the above statements are incorrect and as two statements are incorrect, the correct answer to this question is option number two, two, option number one, one, option number three, three, option number four, four are incorrect options and the correct answer is option number two. Let's proceed to the next question. Question number 175, the enzymes that carry out catalysis of a reaction by transfer of electrons are and the options are hydrolases, lyases, oxidoreductases, isomerases. And the correct answer to this question is option number 3, oxidoreductases. Option number 4, hydrolases is incorrect. Hydrolases catalyze hydrolysis of aster, peptide bonds, etc. Lyases is incorrect because lyases catalyze removal of groups from substrates by mechanisms other than hydrolysis leaving double bonds. And the last option isomerases is incorrect because isomerases catalyze interconversion of isomers. So the correct answer to this question is option number three. Let's proceed to the next question. Mm -hmm. 